Yeah, so this is like a collection of magazines that I have photos in. One day I can show my kids and be like, hey, back then when I was a, a cool guy. Yeah, there's a few things here that I just cherish. I really like this cover. It's probably my favorite one I ever had. Oh, this was when we were filming for Propeller. Some Las Vegas nights. I don't collect too much stuff. I don't know. I don't like hanging on to things. I'd rather have less. You never know when you have to hit the road. This book I just really got into lately. Like we did a trip with the Volcom once where we rode through Europe on the Harley Davidsons and a year later we rode through the US and it was really memorable. So since then I got stuck on Harley Davidsons and so I got this book and it's about the first like all black Harley Davidson club. The Easy Rider movie, a lot of people know and there's like these two bikes there but what people don't know is that these bikes were built by like two black men, black folks love old motorcycles too and then i just got this one too that i'm really stoked on it's called afro surf it's about like yeah black people in surfing as well if things like loosen up again and we can travel i'd really like to go down there because my mom's from ghana i have like an attachment to it and uh, it would just be nice to help the scene out there and build it up a little bit more yeah now, this is pretty good i was a part of this but this is also like a lifetime, lifetime achievement for me. And then the one we did with Lucas Fiedeling. It was like a homie project, but it came out really, really good too. For me, it's something really meaningful, you know. It's like hard drives might fade at some point, but you know, print will be in circulation and some way the books will always end up somewhere and someone will always pick it up and, you know. I don't know, I had way more, but when the pandemic started, like it was really hard to get a, a hold of boards. So I started skating a bunch of them, but there's like a few that I kept. Yeah, there's like a bunch of the graphics that taught Francis draws and stuff. And I'm super into those. Like I'm a big fan of his whole art. A lot of memorable ones for sure. I mean, the first graphic I got, have to hang on to that. This was the first one. I really like this. It's from Dr. Zeus. They made me this graphic when Max was first, first born. This is also one of my favorite ones. I started printing some of my photos, but I never got around to hang them up yet. So I should start framing all this stuff. I have like really, really cool stuff, but oh yeah, this is another one from Joe Brook that I really, really like. John Cardiel and Trujillo. They're gonna watch this stuff and they're like, look at this guy, he doesn't even cherish all that stuff. No, I do cherish it, but I just haven't gotten around to like, I can say I'm really busy. With the team management stuff, kids, trying to keep a skate career alive. Like the first trip I did as a team manager was in October, 2016. And thanks to the help of like P-Stone and, and Jake Phelps, because they came on that first trip I organized to Athens. So yeah, they got like pretty usable results. And then they were like, hey, do you think it would be something you could continue? This way I get to still do what I love doing. You know, I go on skate trips and hang out with my friends. And, but the advantage is you can always take everybody to the spots you want to skate. <laughs> <laughs> There's some stuff I printed too, like a photos I shot. This is one of my Grant Taylor. Yeah. yeah, like, I really enjoy shooting photos. Oh, yeah, this is another one I got from, from Arto as well. These two are gonna be next to each other. Jake and Preston. Miss them a lot, man. Yeah, well, maybe we gotta catch the rabbits before we leave now. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> It turned into like a running joke because there was like Thomas Gensch was doing this like live interviews on Instagram. And while I was doing it, I actually had to catch the rabbit. And then people started making jokes of like catching the rabbit, what that meant. So this is what it means. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get out. 
Nein! Jungs, geh weiter! Jetzt weiter! <lacht> oh. Oh, der ist einfach viel zu schnell, Lady. Boing! Wow! Yes! Wow! But this is the trick, then they go to bed really early. While we're here, maybe I'll just show you this too. This is my sanity zone. Pretty soon it should be ready, and then I can roll out for spring. I had it all taken apart and cleaned everything, serviced some parts. Can't wait to hit the road again. Yeah. My friend French is gonna make a little art piece for me too, and uh, maybe I'll put it up here too. Like I said, I've been here for two years, but I think I still have the rest of my life to, to decorate, so it should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. See, didn't even have to chase him. So, take some drinks for the boys. Yep, this is OG Tom. Tom's actually the family cooler. And then one day I decided, I was like, oh, it'll be useful on the trip too. Yeah, he was in the apartment and I think someone just tagged Tom on him. So whenever you arrive at a spot, you put Tom there. Everybody just automatically g gathers around Tom and sits there. The OG Tom actually got stolen while we were building this house. And the most interesting fact was like, there was all these power tools in there and they were still there. But the only thing that got stolen was the cooler with the four cold beers in it. And for a Christmas present, like we made a few of them and, and sent it to the team riders and stuff. Shitty skate park Saturdays. This is what I do when I'm at home with my friends. It's actually not that bad. You got everything you need. Huh? Bravo! I was living in, uh, in Spain first and that's where I met my wife. And my wife's from this region. So I said, yeah, if Nuremberg's got an airport, travel and then I come back and, you know, it's all about the balance in life. Let's go coast to coast. It's like a marathon. <laughs> I wonder if it grinds. Let's see. Oh! Quick little nose tap. <laughs> Instead of grinding. What must he do? Huh? What must he do? Hoch genug springen. Kids are my personal coaches. I got this. That's good enough. It's actually doable. Oh. 
Oh my! I actually got the ultimate curb ripping shoes. Wait, let me go get them. Yes. Cheers. I know you said you didn't want anything for the painting, but I just thought, man. So yeah, give them a test. Let me know what you think about them. It's like with more support in the heel area. And I got a pair for you too. I saw you were skating the raw ones, so it's yeah. like pretty similar. Hey, thank you. The improvement is that tongue strap that they have in there, man. It makes the shoe so way more comfortable and it like holds your feet in there properly. Goddamn fucking scooters. Don't shoot a photo of this. They're probably just fucking hammer throw this stuff away. At least they're moving. <laughs> okay. Hier einmal ein Burger, nochmal ein Burger. Nuggets. Fed the animals. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm a victim. I do McDonald's too. I already regret it after the first bite. After I'm done with this in 10 minutes, I'm hungry again. Oh my! Jetzt für dich, Max. No! Count, it was a line. And a super balanced 50-50. Little car, big man. Yeah, I've been working on like a little VX uh, project with my friend Max. Try to make use of the good weather today and see if we could get one more clip for that thing. <laughs> Let's see what we can make out of it. There's no way I'm gonna get that carved. It made sense theoretically. Goddamn McDonald's trash. So I'm gonna go drop the kids off. You still down to cruise by the studio? Yeah, if you wanna go to the gallery, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys over there then. All right. Yep. Just for that. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.
What's up, Dust Man? What up, Shannon? I'm all good. How are you? Chilling. Achtung, Polizei. Mind the elf. <laughs> Servus. Chris gave me these shoes. They're like these special new ones that are made for beer holding. They work as a beer holder, too. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, the 101 studio of my friend French. Uh, he opened up this gallery, actually, with the help of Vans as well. It's a really good thing he's doing because, like, yeah, it gives, like, all the local artists, like, the opportunity to showcase their stuff. And unfortunately, the whole Corona thing, like, yeah, hopefully he can still, like, keep running it until he moves back to England. It's a shame he's gonna move away. Nuremberg is gonna lose a really good one. Shit, what do you guys want to eat? Penne um, alla viata. On this trip, I just figured I'll take my mom along and she's going to help us with like cooking. Yeah, because this way then we don't have to go to restaurants. Yeah, it's all home cooked meals, you know, so what more could you ask for? We have this global regional project at like Vans Global. And the concept behind it is that everybody has like 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes to you know showcase the skateboarding in their region yeah let's see that's it and then other than that like we want to follow up on uh, tom's tales video get a good crew and just point a camera at them i don't think you need more than that <laughs> mask off <laughs> i mean yeah this is basically what i do got everything i need here it's about the small things in life man let's have some dinner